Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Odette and I do fashion and lifestyle videos for the working girl and this also includes luxury. And so today what I have is kind of a what I got from my wish list. That's my 2021 list, wish list in 2021. Um, so normally what I do is at the start of the year I always put together a wish list and the whole point of doing the wish list is to kind of help guide my spending for the year. So last year was a complete fail because I got things outside of my wish list but at the same time I don't have any regrets for the things that I got that were outside of my wish list. I just I felt like I had to get them. But in this video I'm going to share with you the things that I got that were actually on my wish list. The wish list is kind of a guide. Sometimes what I find is that if I can't get exactly what I want I am happy to get a substitute for what I want and I think you're going to see that very clearly throughout this video. So if you enjoy fashion and luxury fashion type of videos, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you know every single time I upload a video. Oh, by the way, I would put a link to that wishlist video if you want. Before I start, I haven't done my 2022 wishlist just, just yet. That video is going to come out pretty soon, so definitely subscribe to find out what I'm going to get this year or what I plan to get this year. So one of the bags I wanted in my 2021 list, and this was kind of a category thing. So it was either the Chanel 19, the Chanel Classic Flap in a mini, or the Chanel Classic Flap in small. And I wanted the um, caramel color from the 21P collection. If you know anything about that collection, then you know that bag was impossible to find. As a matter of fact, the bag is now going for almost, I want to say, a 50% markup on the original price. So it's really ridiculous. Like, it's impossible to find the bag, and now it's it, the bag was marked up again. And I mean, I liked the bag. I really loved it. I hadn't seen it in person. So in order for me to get it, I had to get a personal shopper to source it for me. But I just felt like the markup price was just very much ridiculous. Um, when I saw this option, I was happy. After seeing this one in the 19, I changed my mind about wanting the caramel color in the 19. I realized that I only wanted it in the classic flap. So that would either be not even the small because the size of the small is, is weird on my body. Like I can't wear a crossbody. It's, it's just very weird. So I decided if that color was ever to come out again, I would want it in the mini or the or the medium but I think the mini is probably more of the size that I would go for. I really love my Chanel 19 bag and I haven't seen any other 19 color or size that I want more than I love this one. I think each time I see a 19 I'm like oh that's really pretty but I can't stop thinking about this one and I just feel like why get another one if it's not going to be better than the one you already have. If it's if you think it's less than the one you already have then what's the point of getting it? That's kind of where I am and yeah like I said whilst I didn't get the exact color that I wanted I still got I want to say the style that I wanted which I'm very happy about. So I got this bag and this was a replacement and literally I walked into the store and they were just like how about this one and I said you know what I love it. This bag also has a bit of sentimental values for me because besides it being a replacement for a bag that was on my wish list the time I actually bought it was a time where I felt I needed a huge pick-me-up because I kind of got some I want to say not so great news for myself, for my health and things like that. And so I felt like, you know what, I want something that is really going to make me feel good. I'm gonna get something from my wish list, and this was how this one came about. So the next bag on my wish list was there were three bags that I was looking at. So one of them was the the Wave Anagram Tote, and that was going to be in the canvas color style. The other one was the Louboutins, so Christian Louboutins tote bag again in the brown style, and the last one was the Alaya bag in the brown style as well. So basically, I was on the hunt for a brown bag. The Christian Louboutin ones I couldn't find it when I was ready to actually purchase it. I couldn't find it anywhere at all, and so I. I was left now with the Alaya bag or the Anagram tote bag and the Alaya bag I don't know I felt like it was aesthetically pleasing but it is not really a functional bag and I think for now I'm kind of going for functional bags and so that left me with a Louis Vuitton Anagram tote when I was putting this category together I wanted a bag that I could wear to work so which means it had to fit my laptop so I went into Harrods to have a look at the bag in the Louis Vuitton store and I saw the black one there and they had it in the smaller size which is the size I actually wanted but it was too small. For some reason, I thought it was going to be bigger than that, but it was too small. I realized I would have to go a size up. And I immediately fell in love with the bag. I fell in love with the leather version. I wanted it in all the colorways. At the time, it was black, I think the sage green and brown. So, but black was kind of the obvious one for me because then that would mean I could wear it with anything. I didn't have to be very careful about what I wear to work. And so I went ahead. That's a massive intro for me to say that I went ahead and bought the Loewe tote bag, which is this bag. Yes, this is the bag. It's a perfect bag. Like I, I have said so 
time and time again this bag needs a video on its own and it's coming because i have to do a proper review of this bag this is the perfect work bag it's just incredible when it comes to work this is the bag that i reach for every single time it is just extremely pretty it's extremely big i need an organizer for it um to close it up the only thing that it has is this um tie rope here so you just tie it together but i usually wear it on my shoulder so it stays like this it's an amazing bag i am extremely happy that i picked up this bag i literally feel like i ticked off something from my wish list and not just anything but something that i actually needed this has been pretty much a lifesaver for me each time i go to work which is typically once or twice a week I take this bag with me, it fits everything. Sometimes it can even fit my shoes, my heels that I want to wear to work, depending on what heels I'm wearing that day, whether it's something relatively big or small. I'm actually happy that I picked up this version, especially considering the price, I decided to go ahead and pick up this. If I want a canvas bag, which I think I still want, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of the, um, either the Saint Laurent one or Valentino one. So it'll be one of those bags. If I do want like a shopper bag, it would be one of those two rather than something like this. That it's extremely pricey. The next bag that's on my wish list was the Loewe puzzle and one that I wanted, the exact one that I wanted, is one that I saw from Hilo Lux which is the trio color one in kind of the bright pastel colors. I have been on the hunt for that one and I've just not been able to find it anywhere. Um, so I went ahead and picked up this one and I got this at quite a still. So this is the medium one and as you can see it has the feet which means it is the earlier version ones that came out because the newer ones don't have the feet. This I still love very much because it's a pop of color and I've been trying to incorporate a bit more color into my neutral-ish wardrobe and this is a great way to do that. Plus I picked this up pre-love. I picked it up from Vester. It actually came from the US. So I bought this about, I want to say 40 to 50% off. So I got it a quite a still, so I'm quite happy with it. It's not a problem for me. I have worn it quite a few times last year. Um, I do plan to keep wearing it. It does have gold heart, sorry, silver hardware, which is not my favorite hardware, but the pop of color just makes it worth it for me. But yeah, so this is my Loewe bag. I really love the fabric, the Loewe fabric. It is it, such good quality and the way the bags are generally made. And the same is true for this one. They have, I want to say, one of the best quality bags and even craftsmanship the leather is so good when you touch it you can tell that this is really good i'm just gonna say something about the way they bags in general what i love about these bags is that the leather is not necessarily the grain leather that you'd find in either sunrev bags or even the cape bags from yves saint laurent it's not that type of grain leather but it does have a bit of texture to it so it's not smooth leather that you would see on the Saint Laurent um, Lulu bag. It's kind of in between so it's not all the way grain but it's not extremely smooth. I think that that's good because it doesn't have that strong texture that you would get with grain leather but at the same time because it has a bit of texture to it it's not easily marked and even if you do mark it it's not easily visible as it would be on really smooth leather. So it kind of has that in between leather I'm not sure what you would call it but yeah, that's just the best way I can describe it. The next thing on my wish list was the Valentino stud heel. So I didn't end up getting the Valentino stud heel and I had the opportunity quite a few times to get it because if you know anything about Valentino, then you know that they have sales twice a year. So that's the winter sales and the end of summer sales as well. I have seen quite a few times Valentino heels on sale, but I've never really gotten the... Um, the desire to purchase it. However, when I went to Vista Village recently, I found this amazing Dior heel. So I don't have it with me now, but these heels, I have lost it over it for some time. I have no idea why it never featured in my wish list, but I know I have lost it over it for some time now. And when I saw it in the Dior store in Vista Village, it was, I think, 40% off. And they had it in my size as well. Because also, when I find it online, I never see it in my size. And I just had to get it because how often would you see a Dior pair of heels in your size and for that discount? That's not something that you see quite often. I was happy to get it because for me, it was a replacement for the Valentino one. I got this one and I think I was quite happy with it. Another thing is a Louis Vuitton scarf. So I did put on there that I wanted a Louis Vuitton on scarf again because i haven't been going out too often i haven't um been too keen on purchasing any scarf i have a lot of scarves especially thick winter scarves so because of that i haven't really been interested in purchasing any scarf from anyone from from louis vuitton however the same time that i went to bista village and i found my jado dior um heels i found a gucci scarf that was on sale so i was so i said to myself okay if you haven't purchased the louis vuitton one maybe you can go ahead and purchase the gucci one and 
eyeshadow. It, I'm literally still taking it out of the package because I haven't unboxed it yet. Um, but the Jada Dior ones I've wanted to work already. It's this one. So this wasn't the color that I wanted because they had it in a lighter shade than this but that was the last one that they had on display so they literally sold out that morning so I kind of got there late but I was still more than happy to purchase this one because I love this one this scarf would pretty much going to work going anywhere it has an amazing color it has a beautiful shine on it my apologies the video got cut off but I was saying essentially that this scarf is amazing it can go with everything I quite a really good discount as well it was much cheaper than the Louis Vuitton one that I would have wanted to buy obviously this was on sale so I'm pretty happy with this if I really want the Louis Vuitton one I can put it back on my wish list like it didn't have to be that one or anything it was just a nice accessory that I wanted to have uh, amongst my other scarves and I think this one is this one does the job great final item that I wanted was hoop earrings I think it was either the Chanel ones or the Louis Vuitton ones that I had on my wish list so either or would have done it for me I didn't get any of them and again I wasn't actively looking for any of them. I think the Chanel one would have been harder to find because it's discontinued, so I would have had to buy it pre-loved. But the Louis Vuitton one, if I'm not mistaken, they have it on the website and they actually have it in two sizes. So a bigger size or a smaller size, I actually have it in store as well. But I ended up picking something completely different from any of these two and it was the Chanel one, but it was like a, it's like more of a dainty one. I wanted something that I could wear to work because I don't go out as much as I would like to go out. And I think it's, not I think, it's because of the pandemic and everything. And plus, my husband is not the type of person that goes out quite often. And because of that, I'm kind of tailoring my wardrobe and accessories to focus on purchasing things that I know I can also wear to work. And because of that, I decided to buy something else, which is a Chanel earring. It's a really pretty dainty earrings. It does have a bit of obviously glam to it because it's a bit shiny. I really love that earring so like I said I want to be able to buy things that I can wear a bit more frequently. I don't want to buy something to just keep it for very special occasions. Um, I don't think I've arrived at that point in my life where I'm happy to spend loads of money on something and never wear it. And so that's the kind of idea that I have whenever I'm purchasing luxury items. I try to stay away from things that I can only wear every now and again. If I'm going to buy something, even something that's very glamorous, it has to be a glamorous item that I know I can wear it often. But yeah, those were the only six items that I got for my wishlist. I think my wishlist last year was composed of 10 or 11 or 12 things, give or take. And obviously I got six, which is fine. Like I always say, I know that I'm never gonna get everything on my wishlist. That's absolutely fine by me. What's going to happen is that a couple of the things that I really still want on that list, I'm just going to move it over to this year's wish list and see where I manage to get it this year. That's pretty much it for my video. All these items that I show you, I typically style them on my Instagram channel. So go ahead and follow me on there if you're not following me. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed and you're watching this video and you've enjoyed it, subscribe and please give me a like as well because that helps with the algorithm and it lets YouTube know that this is a good video to watch and other people will get to see it as well. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.